Okay, so let me do this and the next four questions um, all in a row. It's because, you know, this is your chapter 2, question 44. The next one will be 45. 45, 46, 47, 48, they are all basically the same question over and over. So let me just do them all together because they're all going to need the same formula, same thinking. Um, so let's do it that way. So it says, an object is located in air, some, okay, I got to start drawing this. So let me start by drawing the uh, a vertex of a concave surface. Okay, so I have some vertex. Oh, or I have a concave surface. This is the vertex. And let me just have a optical axis as a reference. And I have some object over here as some distance. Let me call this a DO, object distance. And um, we have index of refraction on this side. That's one. And index of refraction on the other side is going to be glass, 1.5. OK, and it's asking, on which side of the concave surface is the image by refraction located? Oh, um, so this kind of looks like one half of a diverging lens. So it probably acts as a diverging lens. If it does, I'm just tracing the rays so that I have some sense of how, where things are. So if I'm imagining looking at this from over here, then um, this is a parallel ray, principal ray number one. On, on this side, it's going to appear, uh, let's say you, you have focal point over here. This is the focal point. Then this ray will appear to come from that focal point going that way, diverging. And the light ray that's going through the middle of it. Um, now here's a bit of a complication. If this were thin lens, then I would say this goes straight. But it's not, it's just the one, um, interface of a refraction. So this light ray will actually refract, you know, smaller to larger index of refraction. So it will refract closer to surface normal. So I, let me show you that. Now, um, so with this situation, you can't use the thin lens equation, you know, one that goes as 1 over f is 1 over do plus 1 over di. If you use that, you'll get the wrong answer. So don't use that. Instead, uh, there is a, a textbook section, subsection, that talks about image formed by refraction, and there's a formula there. So let me go copy that formula because I don't have it memorized. I'm never going to memorize it. I'll just copy it on the screen so that I can use it. Uh, let me see. Can I find it? Um, yeah, so let me bring up the textbook here, and we'll just uh, have the formula copied and you know use it from there. <laughs> um, and, and, you know, you don't have to memorize every single formula in the textbook. You just have to know where to find it, when you need it. So, image formed by refraction. Yeah, it's a whole section. Uh, there's a whole description of all that. And uh, at some point, it actually does a derivation of um, the whole thing. Yeah, here's the thing. It's the whole... Um, the, you know, curve the surface, and it you know this uh, geometric argument. It's good to follow through at some point to kind of test yourself and build that skill. What I will say is that I'm not gonna try to follow through it right now because it's unnecessary. Let me just uh, find the formula that they drive and make use of that. So I'm just gonna copy that. And and uh, as I'm copying it, um, there are some things that I should take a care to make sure that I understood. So I'm going to first copy the formula, n1 over do plus n2 over di is equal to n2 minus n1 over r. So uh, three things, or actually two things that I want to make sure that I understand. I want to make sure that I correctly understand where n1 and n2 are, what their that reference is. And I believe N1 is, yeah, N1 is the, the incident side, index of refraction. N2 is the outgoing side, index of refraction. Good. And I want to understand the sign convention. So even though here it's showing a convex surface, this same formula should cover both the convex and concave. So it looks like for the situation where they, oh wait, there's the sign convention. So we'll use that. Uh, R is greater if a surface is convex towards the object. Okay. So here my R would be negative. This is concave towards the object. So uh, 
whenever you are copying and using formula derived by someone else, you want to make sure you uh, understand enough details around the formula so that you can use it correctly. So, so I think that's enough. Uh, let's uh, do that. So, on which side is the image by refraction located? Ah, it's gonna be located here. I think I was drawing those principal rays to figure that out. So, uh, without knowing exactly how to drive this distance di, I think I know enough to know. Oh, it's gonna be formed on the uh, same side as the object, or the opposite side from the outgoing side. How far is the image by refraction from the vertex of the concave surface? Yeah, that, um, I need to use this formula. So I think I'm solving it for di. So let me do that algebra quickly. So, uh, I mean, I'm not sure if it's gonna be quick, but let me try to do that algebra. Um, so I think I want to put this by on its side. So it'll be um, and 2 over di is equal to everything else on the other side. Uh, oh, so I guess I'm moving n1 over do over. So it'll be n2 minus n1 over r minus n1 over do. And uh, let me be lazy and write something down that I can put into calculator, but not simplify anything because I don't think it'll really simplify. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the reciprocal of that or raise this to power of minus one and then divide by N2. Doing that and then, you know, divide by N2. That'll give me DI by itself. And the formula that I can plug into calculator is this whole thing n2 minus n1 over r minus n1 over do raised to power of minus 1 times 1 over n2. So that's a formula that I can just plug into a calculator. So let me just do that, not make it complicated. Okay, so let me plug in the numbers here. Um, yeah, I think uh, we're all set. By the way, I think this is taking up too much. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, we're all set. So let me uh, get the distance. Um, I think we are given... Um, so it's going to be N2, 1.5, minus N1, 1. Um, all of that divided by R, uh, 11.8 centimeter. Um, do I want to... I think I can just keep all my distance in centimeter and my image distance will come out as a centimeter. So I'll just do it that way. Minus N1, which is 1, divided by DO, 21 centimeter, raised to power minus 1, times 1 divided by 1.5, uh, divided by uh, one, the index of refraction. of. So. so we get a negative image distance. And what that tells you is that the... Um, what that tells you is that image forms on the side that's uh, opposite of the uh, opposite of the expected side. So you know, image is normally expected to form on the outgoing side. So it forms on the other side. So it's so uh, that that that'll, that'll actually tell you. That's what tells you that it forms on the same side the, as the object. The thing that's confusing me is that uh, 127 that's longer than 21. I thought that couldn't happen. Um, but maybe I was mistaken about that. It might be a matter of, um, I, my intuition is formed around the thin lens equation, but this is a different equation. My intuition may not apply. So let me just put in 127.1 uh, distance. Uh, what is the, mark? oh yeah. So let me actually answer this, make sure I got parts A and B right. And then let me address some subtlety of Part to see, okay, I missed the something. What did I miss? Oh, yeah, 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 I made an algebra mistake. I did a division by N2 and I should have done multiplication by N2. So, okay, let me uh, fix that. Uh, so, it should have been really um, multiplication by N2. And um, um, so, you can redo the algebra yourself to kind of see, yeah, Andrew should have multiplied by N2 and not divide. So that means here, instead of 1 divided by that, it should be times 1.5. Oh, even farther distance. So maybe <laughs> that's 286. So 286, let's see if... Uh, uh, so let me make sure I get the correct... No, what am I missing? 
So I spotted one mistake, which is that it should be multiplied by and to not divide by. And the other mistake is, um, so this is where edit's gonna come in. Um, sorry, it took way too long to find this mistake. And I even pointed this out at the beginning of the problem when I talked about the sign convention for R because it's a concave towards the object, the R I use should be negative. So instead of saying R is 11.8, it should be really minus 11.8 centimeter. That was my mistake. Uh, and, and I think, uh, yeah, yeah, the number I was getting, this was way too long because um, the way these diverging setups work, image is always closer than the object. So like even before I knew it was wrong, like it didn't make sense to me. So <laughs> now it's, yeah, yeah, minus, so just 16.7, because it's asking for distance, not location or DI. So let me make sure that's correct. <laughs> okay, good, that's correct. So let me get to the other thing where, um, so this is a bit of an issue. Um, let me show you the errata that I filed, which wasn't accepted, but the the fact that it wasn't accepted doesn't mean I wasn't right. <laughs> um, so I'll just show it here if you want to read it for yourself. It's errata number 15117. And it goes down to uh, what magnification formula you use. And what's programmed in, into textbook as the uh, correct answer is this magnification formula that you will see when we get to lens optics. That's the magnification is minus di over do. It comes from some geometric considerations. This is for thin lens, or actually thin lens and mirrors. Um, but what it is definitely not is it's not the magnification for refraction by a single surface. So in this serata, I point that out, you know, solution given assumes this formula. And then I give them the correct formula is this. And this is something that I will never remember myself. So let me copy it down so that I can use it. And I'll talk about how I programmed that it. So let me say M correct is really um, minus, yeah, there's a modification by the index of refraction. And that goes with this uh, refraction that I was referring to before. So di over n2 divided by D O over N1. If I put in the effort to memorize it, I probably could. But it's one of those formulas that you almost never need it. So no effort, no point in memorizing it. So you have to modify those by that index or refraction. So it's still my position that this is the correct formula. And the way that your textbook covers this is not quite right. But this is one of those things there where, you know, it's not um, that big of a deal if they correct it or not correct it. Fine. I don't care. I mean, I care, but not enough to do anything about it. <laughs> so uh, for this question, if you use this wrong formula, it'll still grade it as correct. So let me do it that way. I got the image distance, 16.7, and I got the object distance, 21. And if I calculate the magnification that way, oh, and use the sign to indicate whether it's upright, so it's going to be positive. So if I put in the magnification of 0 0.795, it'll say it's correct. And since the next question is very similar, let's do the next question. And then I will do this magnification the other way using the correct formula. And then it'll also say it's correct and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I did uh, spend all this time for that one question. And the next four questions will use basically the same approach. So let me do them all in one go, hopefully as quickly as possible without making any further mistakes. So next one, object is located in air, um, 38 some distance from the vertex of, ah, this time it's gonna be convex surface. So let me just uh, indicate this so I forget, don't forget. This time R will be positive. Uh, class with uh, that, that, okay, good. Now, let me give you a little a trick or kind of the thing that um, op optimization that you can do. Answering A first, that actually takes a lot of time and effort, like drawing these um, ray optics, which you can, which I think you should do at least a few times to build your intuition. The thing is, um, the ray diagrams, they don't give you any new information that you already couldn't get out of this key equation here. And later on, when we do 
uh, uh, lens optics, the lens equation, like this contains all the information. So when you calculate the image distance using that, that actually um, has everything that you need. So let me do that. I'm gonna just going to go back. So there I have the formula, okay. So n2 minus n1, I think that's so far the same. Radius of curvature, this time it will be positive, 28 centimeters, minus um, n1, 1, divided by do, 38 centimeters. And then reciprocal times 1.5. Okay, that's going to give me some numerical value. And when it tells me, it, uh, so when it's a negative answer, that tells me that it's on the opposite as the outgoing side, so it's going to be in air. So the uh, same side as the object in air. And the distance will be uh, 17, uh, oh, sorry, 177 centimeters. Let's make sure that's correct. I think that sounds right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's a convex setup. It's a forming a virtual image. That virtual image is going to be far away. So for the magnification of the image, let me use the correct formula because this, um, well, you know, this whole thing I'm, Keep saying, you know, that's the wrong formula to use. It applies to thin lens, not the refraction by a single surface. So let me correctly use that. Uh, let me do it this way. I'm going to duplicate it so I can just uh, use the same formula over and over. So it's going to be minus, uh, yeah, minus di. That's going to be minus 177 divided by the index of refraction, 1.5 divided by uh, object distance. 38 centimeters um, divided by 1. Uh, oh, let me put in the centimeters just for kicks. I mean, it'll just cancel out, but just for kicks. So when I have that, the final result is 3.105. And that, so I get bigger image that's upright. I think that sounds right. 3.105. And it'll say that the answer according to this formula is also correct. And the, the, I guess the, um, the kind of the final story of this is you can use either. I just programmed them both as the correct answer. So whether you use the wrong formula that a lot of people will be using, or if you use the correct formula, which is not in your textbook and you have to do a lot of work to find it. Um, either way, the pro system will grade it as correct. Because as I was saying, this isn't really the important point of these questions. So use either, use either one that makes sense. I contend that this is the correct formula, so I'll you continue to use it for the next three questions. But if you happen to use the wrong one, it's going to be fine. It, uh, and if this is not a battle I want to fight. <laughs> It'll be great if it's correct. Let's move on. So, okay, next question. Same setup. This time it's going to be concave. So I'll, let me remember that radius of curv curvature will be negative this time. Um, and uh, oh, n water is now uh, so n one is now water. So I'll have to remember that this is going to be not one but one point three three for this question. Um, so let me put in all the numbers for part B, and then I can go back and answer part A. So one point five minus one point three three divided by uh, this is the radius of curvature, which should be minus eleven centimeters. Um, yeah, 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 that's, that's the difference there, yeah. Um, subtract of, not 1, but 1.33, divided by the object distance, uh, 18 centimeters. And I think the rest is fine. Oops, uh, 18 centimeters, and yeah, 1.5, that's just the N2. Yeah, so that'll give me some distance. Uh, so it's got to be uh, closer than object distance. Uh, yeah, 16.8, and it's a virtual image, so it's going to be on the same side as the object in water. Yeah. Or the way I like to prefer, I prefer to phrase it for the purpose of the sign convention that you will see later is that it's on the opposite side from outgoing rays. And that's the consistent way you can describe everything. Magnification of the image. Let me use the correct formula for the distance. Um, so 16.8 divided by 1.5. Uh, and here now it's uh, divided by 1.3. Um, so object distance is 18 uh, one, divided by 1.33. So the correct magnification should be 0 0.828.
And as I was saying again, I programmed in both the correct one and incorrect one has been correct, so you can use either. Okay, two more to go, uh, I think. So, all right, this time it's a vertex of a convex surface, convex. Okay, so R is going to be positive this time. Um, yeah, I think I understand the rest. So using the formula again, one point, it's in water, so yeah, this difference stays. R this time will be positive, 100 centimeters, minus. And I think these old questions all had some point. Some of them were producing real images, some virtual images, maybe. I don't remember them all, but we get only one out of those five. So I think that's all the changes I need to make. So that's going to give you, uh, I think, of another virtual image. Or, uh, yeah, virtual image. That's a virtual image. 40 centimeters. That's pretty close, I think. And I got zero intuition for um, image formed by refraction of, of, of a single surface because that happens so rarely. So virtual image, the so same size as the object. Uh, magnification. Again, I'm going to use the correct formula with uh, image distance minus 40.1 divided by that. Object distance 34. Small magnification, I think. Uh, yeah, 1.05. I think all of that makes sense. Because um, it, it's so close to, like it's somewhere over here, so magnification will be small. Yeah. Okay, good. All correct. One last question in the same category. Again, it's basically the same setup, just uh, varying, you know, is it concave or convex? Which index of refraction is it? It's concave, so your radius of curvature will be negative. Okay, it's uh, a 1.5 minus 1. We are back to air being the, the incident medium. And this should be minus 20. And this is back to being air. Distance. Wow, that is close. Uh, ah, so I don't think we get real image out of any of this. Uh, it might be just a chance of, uh, of how the numbers generated. In some versions of the numbers, you might actually get a real image. Uh, in any case, in this attempt, I didn't get any real image. So it should be 2.86 and minus. So it's uh, in the same on the same side as the object in air magnification. Um, 0.86 divided by two. Uh, now, if you keep this 1.33, that'll definitely be wrong. Uh, I, you know, use either the correct formula or the one incorrect formula that will be recognized as correct. Don't use something in between because <laughs> it doesn't take in between answers. 0 0.953. Yeah, it's a diverging setups. Diverging setup? No, that sounds... Um, it's concave. It is a diverging solo. I think what's confusing me is my intuition is based on, again, lens optics, this. And that intuition has says uh, the image from diverging setup is always closer than the object. But here, that might not always necessarily be the case. So let me put this in and see if that's uh, right or wrong. <laughs> uh, yeah. Wait, what? Did I not? Oh, that's interesting. I got to fix that question. Because so apparently, I think I probably programmed in only the wrong formula and not the correct formula as the correct answer. So, so yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know why I didn't fix this one. So let me go in and fix it because that's definitely not right. Oh, uh, that might be why. It, this is one of the newer questions. So I think that happened after I fixed the other questions. So let me go fix that so that it also lists the correct answer as the actual, you know, the actual correct answer as one that will be graded as correct. So, 